In Mark's Gospel, Jesus says that he has come to give his life as a ransom for many. What does this mean? In English, the word ransom makes us think of paying off kidnappers. But the Greek word that is used here, litron, was used in another two senses. First, when people were offering sacrifices to God in the temple, it was sometimes possible to substitute one animal for another, to sacrifice a goat instead of a bull, or to sacrifice a pigeon instead of a goat. The substitute animal was called a litron, a ransom. So when Jesus says his death is a ransom, he may mean that it is a sacrificial death, one that allows others to live. He takes our place on the cross and suffers in our stead. That's one possibility. Here's another. In the New Testament world, when somebody paid money to purchase freedom for a slave, that payment could also be called a litron or ransom. So when Jesus says that his death is a ransom, he might mean that his blood became the currency for purchasing our freedom. We no longer need to be slaves of sin, death, or the devil because Jesus, through his death on the cross, paid the ransom to set us free.